you've been working with St. Jude since you were a kid. So how did you get started doing that at that young of an age? My parents, my mom. You know, mm -hmm. my mom always gave a portion of my earnings to St. Jude. Mm -hmm. She loved Danny Thomas. She loved the, the, the charity. And really felt like you have to give back when you're, when you're given gifts, yeah. you give back. And, and so always gave a portion of my earnings to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And then when I went back to the show in 93, I, I had gone through an epiphany in my life where I was like, okay, if, I can, if I'm on a show again where I have exposure, mm -hmm. I want to raise money for the hospital. And I started doing my event every year and got more involved and more involved and more involved. And then they invited me to be part of the, the advisory team. And, you know, when you're sitting with the CEO of Chili's and, and Domino's and you're sitting at a table with the people, the biggest advertising, you know, biggest companies in the world, and your opinion means something and it makes a difference and you're raising, you know, you're helping raise $700 million a year and your 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 opinion matters and mm -hmm. it makes a difference. Then you can sleep at night. Like to me, to have, to even have the opportunity to have your voice heard in a room like that, and actually people turn to you and 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 respect what you have to say, is uh, wonderful. Because being one of the youngest people on the advisory board, and being a woman, there's not that many. There are not that many women on the on the advisory board. Mostly the CEOs and et cetera are men. Um, some are, and we have a handful that are other, you know, that are not. But it's um, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you, you know, you have something to say, and coming from a world of daytime and and dealing with fans and dealing with, I know what an audience wants. I know what the consumer wants. They didn't right. always listen to me, but the bottom line is, I do know. And so I, I feel like I can do more in that arena. Um, I'd like to have. A, I think once my kids get older, I'll have a bigger role. Hopefully, yeah. I say company because it is a, it is a huge company, St. Jude. Mm -hmm. But I love it there. I love the people there. I love going there. I love the it makes you, you can't be angry, you can't be, you can't be upset about anything when you go there because we are, we have, what these kids go through and what the, what the hospital does and what they, what one man, what Danny Thomas did is so incredible. It, it really brings you back down to earth, you know, really makes you understand that one man can make a difference and one person, one person, anybody can make a difference if they, if they, they stuck to it and, and Danny Thomas being from an entertainment background, uh, he knew how to work it. He knew how to he knew how to get people to come to the table, uh, mm -hmm. and he used his fame to to do that. And and again, I'm this much compared to that man. Obviously, I'm a spec on the on the entertainment industry, but I feel like there's still room to to help. So yeah. yeah, but thank God my parents did that. I think it's important for for you know it was subconscious when I was a kid, but it stuck with me. It stuck. Right. With me, but it was important to give back. Um, financially, emotionally, volunteering, you know, whatever it is, to, to, to thank thank God, thank parents for, for right. what they've done. Yeah, well, it's definitely a, a worthy cause. And something else that you were involved in is uh, CASA. So yeah. do you want to talk about that? Yes. I, you know, Bergen County CASA, which is helps advocacy, it's an advocacy for children in foster care, where... You know, we hear all these stories about there's there are too many cases, there's too many things for the for the child protective services to handle. And and Casa, what they do is they take a volunteer, they train them, and they're given one case to look over. Meaning, they are that child's advocate. They are that child's person to go to in case of a problem. Mm -hmm. um, and they, as a, I always want, I wanted to volunteer and become a CASA, you know, again, put that on my list of things to do, but it really is something I want yeah. to be more involved in the foster care system and ch child abuse. And, and I was, I had talk, thought about going, um, being a part of missing and exploited children. And I, I, I just, I, I couldn't do it. I, 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 I still want to help, maybe when I get older, but having children, and I, I don't know if I can handle, I have to be realistic and say, what can I handle emotionally? Yeah. Um, uh, my, my husband was New York City cop retired and he's seen everything and, and the things that he has seen and told me I, I can't I don't know if I'd be able to handle it yet in my life you know as, as yeah anyway so with CASA when I said I'll do something I'll volunteer and, and and they're such a small organization but there's they're all across the country there's CASA in every single you have to look them up they do wonderful yeah. wonderful wonderful work to help children in the foster care system um, so I'm I'm working with them I'm the, uh, the face of Bergen County Casa, and mm -hmm. we're doing a lot more with them, and and trying to raise funds to, again, train people to 
ha be advocates for these kids because they have no voice right. uh, no. most of the time. And then you want to be able to visit the child on you know, surprise visits and mm -hmm. pop in and talk to the kids. Are they being taken care of? Are they being fed? Are they happy? Are they what's going on in the household? And there's only there are so many caseworkers to go around. So that's that's kind wow. of where I'm at with Casa right now. Thank you for asking because it's it's yeah. a, a new venture for me and I really want to help um, bring awareness to, you know, you can't seeing a child suffer in with, with a, a childhood illness or in being neglected and being tossed around because of an adult's uh, uh, whatever yeah. pick, yeah. pick one. Um, yeah. children shouldn't suffer because an adult can't figure it out you know yeah. I just and, and so many of them get lost in the system so it's good yeah. there's organizations out there that will hopefully help that yeah, that's what Casa does right. that's what Casa does so I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to be a part of it and again I'd like to do more and I I'm, once I figure out uh, I'd there's no such thing as a schedule in my life at this point. No. <laughs> uh, but you're, you're an actor and you're like, oh, you, oh, I got a job. I have to shoot next week for a week. Okay, what do I do now? Like, how do I figure out everything? But uh, it all works out. It's like it's all. I have a great family. I have a great my mom, who's now in my refrigerator right now. I'm not going to. <laughs> Where are I the kids? I can hear something in the background. Yeah, so. Oh, where is he? Okay. Is this okay? That's good. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> We're all fine. See, when grandma's in charge. Nobody everybody, fights. Yeah, everybody yeah, in charge. Everybody listens. Everybody listens. <laughs> Not when I'm in charge, nobody listens to me. Right. Uh, but <laughs> see, I told you. They're all right. Good. Exactly. <laughs>